The last video that MJ TV, Purple Cliff, and I all made together was uploaded on November 16th, 2021, and it was titled Every Shiny Pokemon Knows Explosion on MJ TV Plays. And the very first video that we all made together was uploaded on December 13th, 2020, and it was called Three Poketubers Try to Beat One Pokemon Game, and it was uploaded on PM7. These videos and many more all together are still on YouTube, and if you want to go back and watch them, you can and you should. Great videos, great memories, really loved making videos with those guys. But it has been two full years since we have made videos together, and I think all three of us thought that people would just move on and accept that the, the trio is done. We didn't need to say anything. The fact that we haven't made videos for two years says enough. And the fact that you have seen me make videos with Mikey and me make videos with Jack and Mikey and Jack never, ever, ever communicate, make videos together or acknowledge the other's existence in those two years. You'd think that would kind of spell things out. But that is just not been the case. People have not gotten any hints. And every single day, and I'm not exaggerating, every single day, I get messages from old Trio fans, MNJTV fans, Purple Cliff fans, asking me when I'm going to do another video with Mikey and Jack. When am I going to add Jack to the JMC? When am I going to do this with Jack? When am I going to do this with Mikey? And it's exhausting. It's exhausting to get brand new Pokemon DLC, have a ton of ideas in my head, of doing videos that would require four people and just realizing, oh, I'm going to have to pick one or the other to invite to this video. And you know, there's a very real chance the other one could feel some type of way about it or the audience will constantly ask, oh, where's Jack? Where's Mikey? Next time do it with Jack. Next time do it with Mikey. It's not very fun. It's not something I want to think about as I'm thinking about videos, because back in the day when all three of us worked together, the only thing I needed to think of was the video idea. Then I got to ask my friends and make a, a, an awesome video with two of my best friends or with one of my best friends. And then we talk about that video with the other. And it was it was really, really awesome and a really great time. But that time is gone. That time has passed. And for way too long, I have let people constantly bombard me with questions about the trio bother me. I've let, you know, worry of what I do and, and how it will be perceived by the audience bother me. And I've let it bother me, you know, what I could do. Like, how is it going to affect Mikey or how is it going to affect Jack? When, at the end of the day, those guys do not worry about those things at all. And that's not a negative. Because when we all stopped working together, it had nothing to, to do with me or it wasn't a negative on me. They made a decision that was right for them. And that's completely fine. And me talking about this is me doing the same thing. It's making a decision that's right for me and talking about it. Because I've, I've finally gotten to a, a spot where the, the straw has broken the camel's back. That I'm, I'm, the, I'm the camel. <laughs> and the broken straw was uh, PM7's 24-hour Kanto shiny event stream. If you don't know, I did a really big event recently where I invited 24 other creators to try to get every single shiny Kanto Pokemon in 24 hours. It was a lot of fun. And it was the first time I have done a big video like this where I included multiple other creators. I'm pretty sure since the trio existed. Um, I I've never organized a video like this with a bunch of other creators. Uh, admittedly, because of, of worry of upsetting the other one of Jack or Mikey or what the audience is going to say, it was just always so stressful for me to figure out who do I invite. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm a really big people pleaser. I, I really I don't want to upset anyone. I just want to make videos and make people happy. And this was the first time I said, you know what? I need to move past that. that that's, it's just it's not a worry I can have. It is limiting my how creative I am. It's making me sad. It's making me enjoy YouTube so much less. I have this idea. I want to do this idea. I have so many awesome ideas like this. I need to put myself out there. It was pretty anxiety inducing. I didn't know a lot of the people that were in the event. I got to meet them during the event and like trying to invite all these people. It was, it was really putting myself out of my comfort zone. It was such a cool thing to do. But when I announced the list of creators, 
the amount of responses to that tweet about Mikey and Jack and the amount of DMs I got that were that I, I just did not like it was it was crazy. And as I scroll through them, two of them right away, no purple cliff with a like mm, thinking, questioning emoji. And then um, and you didn't invite Mikey. No, Mikey. Just so many messages like this and so many like worse DMs, you know, no Mikey. What about Mikey? No, Jack. Can't believe you didn't invite Purple Cliff. Mikey does not stream. He has not streamed for years, so I did not invite him. But the thing that like really, really upset me and, and, and pushed me to make this video is I did invite Purple Cliff. I did invite Jack. He said no. <laughs> and that's completely fine. But not only did Jack say no, he, he also streamed during the event. He streamed for almost 12 hours during the event. Now, when you stream on YouTube, you can only stream for a max of 12 hours at a time or the VOD will be gone. So he streamed for the maximum amount of time, you know, like you can at one point and then went off to do something else. And that's completely fine. He wanted to play Undertale. He didn't want a shiny hunt with me. But so many fans just sat there and accused me of being this bad friend, of being, you know, this, I, I, I like... <laughs> Just accused me of just not inviting friends and, and, and being like mean or any negative things. I don't know. I care too much about what people think. That's the whole problem. That's the whole point. <laughs> That's the whole point of this. And once I saw those comments, it didn't actually make me feel bad. It actually made me angry. And I'm so glad I did this event. And I'm so glad I got to this point. Because like, are you kidding me? I, I couldn't invite both of them because they don't talk. It's them. They don't talk. It's they're they're why we don't make videos together. And I couldn't invite both of them. I can't invite both of them to anything. We will probably never all even be in the same room together. I like I don't think they've talked in two years. It's not me. It's them. And like, that's why they're not there. And the one that I did invite just didn't want to do it. And he still streamed that day. You could have just gone and watched his stream. But no, I I'm the bad guy for not inviting him. Ah. And it just, it does not sit right with me. And I, I've really realized I've done myself a disservice by not talking about this. So I'm just going to finally talk about it. Why do me, Mikey, and Jack no longer make videos together? It's the most boring thing that's ever happened. It's the worst YouTube drama of all time because it's not drama. One day, uh, Mikey went to record a video for a project me, him, and Jack were going to be a part of. Jack got into the call to help him set things up. And at some point, they had a disagreement. One of them left the call. Um, and that's it. I don't think they ever talked again, ever again. <laughs> you know, they both messaged me afterwards. And, uh, if you had to ask me who was in the right, who was in the wrong, I don't know. Uh, it was a disagreement. They didn't, you know, they, they, they did not see each other's side. I think they both felt like they were in the right. I mean, I could pick a side if I really wanted to, but it, it doesn't affect how I like, like my friendship or my standing with either person. It doesn't really matter. They had a disagreement. And, um, you know, they, they could not resolve it in the call and they could not resolve it messaging back and forth. You know, when I was messaged about it, I realized that I was um, in a spot where I could play mediator again. I had done it in the past um, or I could take a step back for my own sanity and mental health and let them solve things. And I decided to make the most mature decision to take a step back and let them handle it and not get in the middle of it. And they made the very mature decisions to agree to disagree. You know, I, I just don't think I think they found out that they didn't really want to be friends. They didn't want to make videos together. So they just didn't. And then they just went their separate ways pretty peacefully. And they, they don't talk about each other. They don't work with each other. And that's it. That, that's that's the end of it. And, um, you know, uh, it it sucks. There's a lot of fans that wish we all still made videos together, but that's their decision, and I fully respect it. And if there's anyone that should be upset and sad by this, it, it, it's me. Um, Mikey is one of my best friends in the world, and I've I've known him since I was a sophomore in college. I'm old now. I'm 28, <laughs> like 29 next year. We've been friends for a long time, and me and Jack became friends after a Pokethon, a big charity event we did together and then you know we became friends in a really important time in both of our lives and you know I 
I don't know if there's a Purple Cliff without PM7, and I don't know if there's a PM7 without Purple Cliff. We really worked together in the beginning and did so much, and it was, it was it, like, it's so special. It was so cool to, to grow alongside Jack. It was cool to grow alongside Mikey and, and work all together. Um, but they were both separately my friends that I brought together, and we formed a really cool friend group. I was looking the other day, and we had a Discord server that we all talked together. We had weekly meetings all together, but not only do we have a Discord server with me, uh, Mikey, and Jack, but we also had a bunch of other friends, and we had a few game nights together. But um, if I if I look through the groups, it's um it's me, Mikey, and Jack. Um, it was you know Katie who works with Mikey, and then uh, my fiance and three of my friends that I I brought into the group that I knew separately. The entire trio was something that was like my friends brought together, and then that group was more of my other friends brought together. And you know what? Sometimes when you bring friends together, they don't actually also want to be friends. And that is unfortunate. But like it sucks for me more than anyone because my friends don't they don't they don't want to be friends. And it's really awkward when two people stop talking and they don't really talk about it. Um, you know, I, I it, it's tough to have like a friend group pop up and you have these game nights and they just like silently end with no one really saying anything. And I don't know what to say, you know. I actually appreciate that neither of them like left the, the Discord server. It was just kind of a quiet, it was a quiet thing. We just moved forward as if nothing happens. Um, but the other thing that's tough is on my channel when we were doing the trio stuff, I was a bit of a, a naive uh, young man. I thought, you know what? Wow, the good times would last forever. Me and my pals were making all these videos. I wake up one day and I'm like, ooh, I'm going to do a video by myself. Oh, I think this new idea, this other idea would be great for Jack. Oh, I think this would be great to do all three of us. I think Mikey fits this video. And I would just, you know, like whatever video I thought would be good, I just would do it with whoever it made sense to do it with. And I didn't really focus on my own um, solo career and my own branding. So when everyone split up, I had a channel that really um, accidentally relied on doing videos with my friends, doing videos with both of them. And that's... That's unfair to them. I, you know, they don't need to stay friends for my career. And obviously I did not ask that of them, <laughs> but it put me in a really, really scary spot. Um, you know, it was really, really difficult after that to figure out exactly what videos to make. And if I could do this career, I'd, I'd hired people at that point. You know, this was my, you know, livelihood. Um, it's you know, how I support my, my fiance and my, my family. Um, you know, it's like I, I have people who have, you know, they work for me. Their their jobs are dependent on me figuring it out. And I, I had to figure it out quick. And I'd like to think I've done a pretty good job, but it's also been difficult. When I upload solo videos, they do really badly in the beginning because so many of my subscribers do not want to watch a video that's just me. Um, thankfully, you know, videos like Pokemon, but everything is legendary, even though the beginning of that video started horribly. It was a 10 out of 10 on YouTube. I got a lot of messages from like the YouTube like analytics saying your audience does not like this video. They are not clicking. <laughs> Once that video got past my audience, which is a it's a that's a tough one to wrestle with. Uh, it 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 blew up and has 4.5 million views now. Once it got out to the the general audience, but so many of the people subscribed to my channel are really just there to see me and Mikey, me and Jack, me Mikey and Jack, or really just to see extra Mikey videos or extra Jack videos. They're not really there for me. And that's, that's been an interesting obstacle I've had to move past. Um, I've just been sad to, you know, not long, no longer be able to make videos with those two friends and, and work all together. Cause it was fun times. It was, you know, kind of a dream come true. And uh, it's been difficult to try to figure out videos with multiple people. But as I talked about earlier, that's something that I really want to move past in 2024. Uh, it's something I started moving past because it's silly. It is really silly. I, even if I invited both Mikey and Jack, I don't think either of them would have been in that event. Even if they both were the best of friends, I don't think they would have wanted to be in that event. And I think I would have still gotten the same messages then. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what people think. What matters is those two don't want to make videos together. And uh, the way it all ended was actually like pretty wonderful. I'm, I'm so happy that it ended in a way with no drama. You know, like I'm sad it ended, but like, Shout out to them. What a mature decision to just kind of go their separate ways. And I'm happy I didn't try to duct tape things back together because, hey, maybe that would have worked for a short period of time. But at some point, this would have inev inevitably happened. So it doesn't really matter if we were still together or not. People would have asked the same questions of where are they? And I can't let that stunt me from doing videos with multiple people, whether it's an event or 
Going into Scarlet and Violet and doing a four-person video. Scarlet and Violet, they're made to do videos with three other people. I've so, I've had so many ideas for two years of videos like that to make, and I just haven't. I want to make those videos. I want to I want to allow myself to make those videos, and that's why I'm making this video. It's not to bring up things from the past. It's not to, you know, like to, to say Mikey is bad or Jack is bad. I love both of them. I don't have any negative thoughts with either. Like, I genuinely, if they didn't want to be friends, I'm really glad that they, they stopped. You know, I feel like it could have ended so much worse and been so much more difficult as a person and also as a creator. I don't want to be involved in drama. What happened wasn't drama. It was kind of like just a very natural thing. You know, people drift apart or realize, eh, maybe I don't really want to be around you often. Um, I, I, I just wanted to make this video so I could fully move past some of these things I've struggled with for a very long time, get this out there, finally say, yeah, we're not, we're not working together. And it's not me. I'd love it if we were still working together, but we're not. And we all have to, you know, move past it, watch the old videos, enjoy them and enjoy them for what they were and move on. If that means you unsubscribe to my channel because they won't both be there, that honestly, I would love that. <laughs> if you're going to give me a chance in the stuff I do. Awesome. If you're going to stick around and wait for me to do a video with Jack or a video with Mikey, that's fair too. I don't know when those will happen, but I mean, at some point, and hopefully you enjoy that when it happens, if it does happen. So, <laughs> um, this was just a video I really wanted to make for myself. And I feel like at this point I'm kind of repeating myself and rambling, but it's, it was honestly a really difficult video to make. And, um, I've really questioned whether, whether or not it was worth making, is this really necessary? But I, I think I have held on to too many things with this for too long. And I have just worried so much about other people's feelings at the expense of my own. It's important to think about other people and put other people before yourself in different spots, but you cannot put people before yourself at the expense of yourself. And that is something I've done my entire life. And it is something that I'm trying to do less of. And, um, you know, I, I've done this in a way where it really started to really negatively affect my career and my creativity and my love of YouTube and my passion for everything I do. And I'm so passionate about what I do and I'm passionate about this channel. I want to make content that hopefully helps people. I want to answer questions and I want to share what I have learned, whatever, whatever I have learned, whatever I have to give. I want to be able to share it here and be a little bit more transparent and honest and human here. Um, and not making this video was a pretty big obstacle for me. I have a different video uploaded on this channel already, unlisted, titled Mikey and Jack, that I made one day after the last video I uploaded on this channel. Uh, I think the last video I uploaded was July 19th. The Mikey and Jack video was July 20th. This has just kind of been weighing on me for a while. So this is kind of setting me free, and I'm excited for 2024 for my channel to come up with a lot of big events and big ideas and, and fun videos, solo videos, videos a lot of people, videos with Jack, videos with Mikey. Hopefully videos you guys enjoy and I'm excited to upload somewhat frequently on this channel. Frequently might be a wrong word, but more often on this channel. But um, we'll see. Thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you for giving me some of your time and I will talk to you guys later.